Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this new series on my channel, which is Cooking with Chef Match. You guys all agree that we should have a cooking show, so that's what we're doing today. Today we are going to be making a quick flatbread chicken sandwich. First thing we need is our chicken. We got ourselves some chicken. It's already made, so I, I made it yesterday. That is why I'm going to actually tell you guys what I put in it. First off, we added this a uh, little mixture here, I actually don't know what this is, but it's basically just salt, pepper, uh, a little spiciness. I found it in the kitchen, I don't know what it's gonna do. You guys probably don't have this, so go ahead and stick with some salt and pepper. Moving on to add some flavoring here, we have ourselves an all season flavoring. This is one of my favorites here. Moving on, I also had some granulated garlic. Now, for most people, you know, they season it this way, they leave it the, uh, how it is. What I like to do is actually put it in a bowl, season it, and you'll see here I actually add some olive oil and some Worcester sauce. So the reason for that is because we're going to be grilling the chicken. I like to have um, a way of having the chicken lubricated and ready to go on the grill so it doesn't stick. That's where the olive oil comes in with the Worcester. It gives a nice little extra flavor here. This is how we marinate our chicken. We are ready to go. So let's actually head over to the grill outside and go ahead and start grilling the chicken for our chicken sandwich all right so we got our chicken here we got the grill all heated up so we're gonna go on over to the grill grill is nice and heated you go ahead and add some pieces now when you add the oil you want to be careful of slowly putting the chicken down because the oil will catch fire and it will burn as you can see right there the fire catches with the chicken And then we can go ahead and close this guy up, let it cook for a little bit, and we're going to head on over and prepare our nom. So that's ready to go on the grill once the chicken is finished. So I'll catch you guys over there. All right, so we got our meat on the grill. It's cooking now. So as we're doing that, as we're weighing, we go ahead and work on the nom. So now you could use one of these and go ahead and add some water, but we really don't care about that. We here at Mitch Cooking with Chef Mitch, just go ahead and use our hands here a little bit and just water up the nom so it looks nice and wet once our chicken is cooked we'll throw this on here and we'll be good to go all right so we're back here at the grill we got our chicken nice and grilling so we go ahead and flip this guy over here adds that extra flavor that you can't get from anything besides the grill so we're gonna let these guys cook a little bit longer here we flip them over Okay, go pick up the nom and set that up here. By the time we get the nom, get everything set up, these guys will be ready to go and we will have an awesome dinner. So, see you guys then. All right, so we got our nom here, which is good and ready to go. So we're gonna just gonna go ahead and set that to the side here. And the chicken looks like it's ready to go as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken, put it on the side, take a nice look at the chicken. Awesome, awesome. Now, moving on. Nom. Go ahead, place that guy on the grill. Now, the nom, you don't have to cook it for too long, so that could have probably been a little bit longer. But that's okay, we'll flip it over again once more. Nicely, you want to keep flipping that over. So, our nom has been cooking for a little bit here. Alright, and then we can go ahead, put it back on the board. Turn our grill off, let that go, and we're going to go back to the kitchen to finally put this thing together and create an awesome, awesome meal. So, catch you guys then. Alright, so we are back here. We go ahead and leave the nom on this plate to get some extra space for us here. And while, since the nom is really, really hot right now, what I'd like to do is actually go ahead and add some cheese all over the nom here to help melt it just a little bit as it's getting ready so we're gonna move over to our meat and we'll just go ahead and make nice little strips here of the chicken and just bet best meat for this type of dish so that should be enough for these two go ahead and we get the set up here so what I like to do is actually add a little bit of ranch right now on both sides of the nom this will allow it to sort of sit on the bottom and top and we're just going to do a nice little strips of ranch. Then we're just going to go ahead and nicely add some meat on just one side here. 
All right, so now that we have this all good to go, we can go ahead and just start creating even more. So we can start off with some green onions, probably put it on the top here. Again, that's just the green onions giving a nice little extra flavor to it. Now we add some corn, which is my personal favorite corn with anything really I just enjoy. There we go. Now, because I like spicy foods, go ahead and add some jalapenos here to sort of add that extra spiciness. Now, finish it off with a little bit of lettuce and we will be done. So, add a nice hefty amount. Again, you can add whatever you really want this. It's not really a set recipe. It's just sort of com combine with it, have some fun, enjoy. Cooking is all about having fun, trying out new tastes. So don't worry about it if you mess it up. Anything you take, anything you make should be tasting good. And there we go. You go ahead and fold this together. Now I made a little bit of a large sandwich here. But we got ourselves the nom. So what I like to do now is go ahead and cook it, cut it in half. So you got two nice pieces here that are easy to bite into. And you got yourself a nice nom chicken sandwich that tastes awesome, tastes wonderful. So let's give it a taste test, see how it tastes right over here. All right, so now for our taste test, see how exactly it tastes. Go ahead and pick this guy up. Mm. That's really, really good. I will say, you make this here, one sandwich is totally enough for one person. I like to eat a lot at one of these is more than enough to fill me up. So it's a great meal, really fast to make, doesn't take that long. It's just a really cheap, nice, fast meal to make for your friends and family. That being said, I love this food, I'm gonna keep eating. So make sure you guys subscribe to my cooking show. Stay up to date for more cooking videos coming shortly. That being said, thank you so much for watching Cooking with Chef Mitch. And I'm gonna keep eating this sandwich because it is so damn good.